Hey guys, it's Aaron with ETR. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Train 824 thermostat and a few features and a few options that you have with this thermostat. I'm gonna show you first how to turn it from heating and cooling and then there's another mode called auto. So right now I have it in cooling mode. But in order to change all this stuff, you go down here, you click the cooling or it may say heating if it's in heating. But you're gonna go there and right now you see auto, heating, cooling, off. So say we wanna to go to heating. You click heating, you click done. It'll go from blue to red. There's arrows that adjust it from hotter to colder. And it will show, um, I'll show you on the AC side, but it, it, it will show you if it's running, it'll say running. If it's just sitting idle, it'll say system idle. But let's go to cooling, I'll show you what it will do. I click cooling done. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna get it down to 74, 73. It'll say system idle. Then it'll say cooling. And then when it says cooling, you know the system's running. Or if it says heating, you know the system's heating. If it says system's idle, then you know it's just sitting idle. <clears throat> Most people like this auto. Auto is neat because you don't have to really mess with it. Um, if you know you want your house between 69 degrees and 74 degrees or whatever it may be, it'll automatically kick on your heating and cooling for you. Another neat feature is the fan mode. If you want the fan to circulate for you, say you're cooking and you burn some bacon, uh, you got smoke in the house, you go to this auto fan mode. So say you're cooking and you burn something, um, and you want the fan to run and clear out the smoke in the house, you click fan mode, and there's three options. There's auto, on, and circulate. So auto runs whenever you, whenever you uh, have the AC running. It'll automatically run for you. If you wanna clear the house out, you just click on, click done, and your fan will, will run. And it's, it's important to know it's not gonna turn off until you turn it off. So right now the fan's running, it's circulating, and it's filtering out your house. Uh, you can also click the circulate. The circulate, if you click it, it's gonna run 30 minutes out of every hour of the day. And that's nice for a lot of people because it's good for allergies. It, it just, it keeps the air moving, it keeps it clean and fresh. I'm gonna switch it back to auto. One other feature that a lot of people like is the humidity they they like to see what their humidity is in the house and i'm gonna show you how to do that you go to menu you go to settings you'll go to screen and screen layout on that you'll see different options you click the indoor humidity and apply and i'm gonna go back to the main screen and you'll see the humidity will show up on the main screen you can adjust that humidity level as well by clicking the menu and you'll see this, all the options pop up. Click humidity and you can adjust it up and down with these arrows, it, it goes by fives. Most people like to keep it between 45 and 55. It's important to know that these are not dehumidifiers but as the system runs, it will try to get to that set point. So if you have it set at 50%, you press apply. As the system's running, it, it'll try to get to that set point. I recommend setting your humidity between 45 and 55%. Um, I'm gonna put it at 50% now and click apply. If you get below that 40% humidity, it gets pretty dry in the house. Your baseboards could start to crack or our bow and your cabinets, you know, it could be a problem. And the flip side of that, if it gets too high, it just feels muggy and hot in your house. So that's why we recommend between 45 and 55%.